Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Classic Album Rewind, the show that we're doing throughout the month of June here in 2021 to take a look at those classic albums by classic bands that maybe get overshadowed a little bit by their little bit more legendary uh, older sibling. Uh, in this instance, we're going to take a look at uh, a great U.S. rock band. Maybe you've heard of them. Sticks. Right, the album in question is going to be uh, from 1978, released September 1st for the A&M Records label, produced by the band, recorded at Paragon Studio, recording studios in Chicago and St. James Cathedral in Chicago, Illinois. Of course, we're talking about Sticks, Pieces of Eight. There are the guys in the band, right, on the back cover. Of course, this is the third album with Tommy Shaw on lead vocals and guitars, right? Co-lead vocals and guitars, right? This band had three lead singers, two fine guitar players. All right, this album, of course, follows from 1977, what many consider, and perhaps myself included, uh, their absolute masterpiece, The Grand Illusion. Huge selling album, right? Absolute classic Hard rock, pop, progressive rock, it's all here, folks. Um, but I will say, Pieces of Eight follows closely on its heels. Some great songs on here. Again, uh, these two albums really give you the taste of uh, everything that Styx was all about. right? And you've got uh, multiple vocalists, like I mentioned before. Everybody's writing. Uh, you know, of course, Dennis DeYoung on vocals and keyboards, uh, James J. Y. Young on vocals and guitars. You've got Tommy Shaw on vocals, guitars, mandolin, Chuck Pinozo on bass guitar, and John Pinozo on drums and percussion. That is, this is the classic lineup of the band. Uh, starting off, you got the big, heavy, great white hope, right? Big, big rocker written by James Young. Of course, uh, he and Dennis share lead vocals on this particular track. Good rocker to kick off the album, right? Then we go to a Dennis DeYoung track, all right, also sung by him called I'm OK. I'm OK has got the big church organ, right? The soaring vocals, really, really memorable track. Is it prog? Is it pop? Is it pop? It's a little bit of all that stuff, right? Uh, then we go to the Tommy Shaw track, first Tommy Shaw track on the album called Sing for the Day. Lovely little folky pop ditty, right? Uh, it's got a little bit of prog, got cool prog keyboards as well. But, you know, what a vocalist, Tommy Shaw. What a songwriter. I mean, just such a feel-good song. All right, so right there you've got the first three tracks, really different elements going on, all three of them. Gives you a nice variety right off the bat. Uh, then you've got the cool little proggy synth uh instrumental called the message all right it's all dennis de young right there very cool great keyboard player <clears throat> and then from there we go into the last track on side a of the lp which is lords of the ring okay all hail to the lords of the ring dun, dun, dun. written by dennis de young sung by mr james young in the year of the lord great great song majestic heavy proggy Love it. That ends side one. So side one, you got a little bit of everything here. You got some good hard rock. You got some pop. You got some prog, right? Got some pomp. Then we go on to side two, or the second half of the CD. So starting off with Blue Collar Man, Long Nights, uh, an FM radio staple since the year this album was released, uh, written by Tommy Shaw, also sung by Tommy Shaw. Big hard rocking song love that organ in the beginning i mean just awesome um great great song easily a top 10 stick song of all time so anthemic hard rock muscle awesome from there we go to what is perhaps if it's not my favorite stick song of all time it's in the top three uh written by James Young and Dennis DeYoung, sung by Dennis, Queen of Spades. Heavy, heavy, heavy. It's prog rock, but it's heavy prog rock. It's, I mean, it's definitely a hard rock tune, approaching metal in spots. Man, those guitars are absolutely cranking. And uh, yeah, 
the vocals of Dennis are just absolutely haunting on this. Just like a, it's one of their heaviest and uh, just really, I, I'm not going to say it's an evil sounding song, but it's menacing, right? It's just wonderful. When I love the ending coda, you know, with those lilting guitar arpeggios, right? And, and the synth, oh, just absolutely wonderful. From there, Tommy Shaw is back. For Renegade, stomping, hard rock tune, great guitar solos, great riffs, great vocals, another FM radio staple and one of their most popular songs of all time. Renegade, absolute must. And then we have the wonderful title track. All right, written and sung by Dennis DeYoung, Pieces of Eight, just absolutely soaring and majestic. Uh, you know, I was too young to see Sticks back in the day when they toured this album, but I don't know, about seven or eight years ago, maybe it's a little bit longer than that, uh, I got to see Styx, the current incarnation of the band, do the Pieces of Eight Grand Illusion Tour, where they played both albums back-to-back, and hearing this song live all these years later was pretty damn magical. Pretty magical. And then, uh, of course, you know, the, the album kind of goes out with a coup a coup. All right, another kind of little quasi-instrumental, all right, written by Tommy Shaw, Great guitars and keyboards on this. Uh, you got Tommy doing a little bit of vocalizations, but for the most part, it's just a uh, really cool kind of proggy instrumental thing that kind of takes the band out. So there you have it, man. Some great, great songs. I just love this album to death. Uh, great White Hope, I'm Okay, Sing for the Day, The Message, Lords of the Ring, Blue Collar Man, Queen of Spades, Renegade, Pieces of Eight, and Aku Aku. Our classic album rewind for today, Pieces of Eight. If you haven't ever listened to this album, as I say every day, what are you waiting for? Now's the time. For those of you who uh, wait for these videos every morning for something that you to listen to for the day, well, go pull it off the shelf, pull it up on Spotify or YouTube or your cassette or your LP, whatever you got. Play this today. Give it some love. Uh, it is the, you know, like I said, so some people like it better than this one. I think, generally speaking, when you look at the career of this band, this is the one that gets most of the, the major acclaim. But this is right, right there with it. There were there were times in my life where I actually rated ranked this high, higher than Grand Illusion of the last, like, you know, 10, 15 years or so. Grand Illusion, generally speaking, is my number one. But this is right there with it. Uh, another classic album from this band. So, uh, like I said, for those of you who haven't heard it in a while, do the old rewind, put it on, listen to it again and enjoy the majesty that is Pieces of Eight by Sticks. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Coming up tomorrow, we got a little Queen action for you tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Wednesday morning, here on the Classic Album Rewind, uh, what do we got? Tonight is In the Prog Seat. Stay tuned for that. All right, we've got a cool show where uh, Team B and I will be talking about our favorite albums with featuring none other than Mr. Bill Bruford on them. So stay tuned for that tonight. Uh, we've also got, uh, coming up shortly after this airs, we've got our great interview with none other than Mr. Bev Bevan, okay, and his uh, wonderful partner in life, uh, Joy Strachan Brain. Okay, they, of course, are in the band Quill right now. Bev, formerly of Electric Light Orchestra, or ELO, The Move, and Black Sabbath. Electric Light Orchestra 2. We're going to be talking about the new Quill album as well as uh, Bev's career and uh, a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that coming up shortly. And uh, visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course, we're on YouTube all the damn time. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tonight on In the Prog Seat. Till then, I am Pete Pardo. See you later on. Bye bye. <laughs>